Is that what you need, pal? I have no idea. You've got power. Does it, does it make any difference? Power. Coverless. Power make any difference? Nope. Light heavyweight? No. Power don't win it. What do you think does mm. win it? Big pair of balls. All right, Billy Joe Saunders is the WBO 168-pound champion. On May 8th, he will try to add two more pieces of the super middleweight crown to his uh, trophy case when he takes on Canelo Alvarez in what is going to be one of the biggest fights in 2021. And Billy Joe joins me on the show. Is it freezing cold where you are, Billy Joe? What, what's what's going on there? We've got, we've got no eating and I've got the flu. Oh, tough tough time to, to come under the day, weather, ten, right? 10 days off from training, not lifting a thing apart from me. <laughs> How's that been going for you? It's been going good. It's been going good and lifting it every night. It's nice. It's going well. The you know, action strokes are good. Not missing the beat at the minute. Okay. Well, on that note, um, it, we'll start with Canelo and his last fight. Uh, obviously, Avni Yildirim didn't have any business being in the ring on that stage. But what did you? What were your takeaways from watching Canelo? I didn't watch it. Really? I was a bed asleep. I didn't watch it. I um, I see the bit where he stopped him. I didn't really. I were about ten seconds, but that was it. I didn't really. I'm not. I don't look at opponents. I never study them. Why is that? Different fight every time, isn't it? They're not going to throw the same punch. They're not going to do the same thing. You have a look at a fighter. He's either a come forward, aggressive fighter, or he's on a back foot boxer. That's all I need to know. This was a fight that was originally scheduled for last May before the pandemic hit. You've had big fights, Billy Joe, that have you know been on the books and for whatever reason have come off Golovkin a few years back. Um, when this fight was scrapped, did you think it was gone forever? No, because... If you believe in yourself and your ability, then it's never gone, is it? So it's uh, it's one of them that I knew. Obviously, just to you know, stay in, uh, stay in touch with the gym, and you know, just keep active and the best I could anyway. And uh, I knew that my chance to come. I'm sure that uh, you know, Canelo's got a good team, and you know, they promised me the shot, and it is what it is. So now we've got it. My eyes. When you were looking at future opponents after your win over Martin Murray in December. I mean, you know, Demetrius Andrade was calling you out. There were other opportunities for you. I mean, how did you kind of, how did this sort of come together for you? Uh, well, it was management MTK. They put it together. And then obviously my uh, advisor, Daniel Kinahan, he, he, he put the final piece of the puzzle together for me. Um, and he got it over the line. So, you know, a lot to them. Thank you very much. Getting the fight made. We have not seen too many fighters have much success against Canelo, whether it, I mean, Golovkin did in his fights. I thought Sergey Kovalev had some success with the jab in his fight. When you watch anything of Canelo, whether it's highlights or full fights you may have seen, do you see weaknesses there? No weaknesses at all. Not one. In Canelo? Uh, not one. He's the bestest fighter. I'm, a, I'm probably one of his biggest fans, if I'm honest. I love really? watching him. I love watching him. I love watching him. Probably one of his biggest fans. I, um, you... I've got all Go his ahead. memorabilia. I've got all his memorabilia <laughs> hanging up at Amazon. Well. Okay. I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> in the bedroom. Posters on the wall. I won't go that far, but you know he's uh, he's an icon figure, isn't he? He's pretty good. He is good. He's very good. At at this stage of preparation, I mean, how deep into the the game plan part of it is, or how deep do you get, or do you just go out there and kind of do your thing, believing your thing is good enough? At the minute, we're just concentrating on getting weight off. We ain't got time to go for a game plan yet. We're still a bit away. We've still got about two stand to get off. So once that comes off, now we're about twenty four pound. Then we can think about a game plan at the minute, but. At the minute, I'm just concentrating on getting a bit of weight off and uh, trying to look the best I can uh, for when I'm eating. Well, do you feel like your style is good for a fight like this? I mean, you must have thought of it last spring when this was this was kind of coming together. Did you feel like your style would be a good matchup here? Uh, it all depends, isn't it? It all depends, like I say. Um, 
if I get knocked out in three rounds, like he says, it's an early night for me, obviously. And it's in and out burger, straight in, straight out. Um, styles make fights, you know, we're going to have to see May 8th. That's the beauty about boxing. No one ever knows. Could get in there, you know, could uh, could get in there, could could feel good on the night, could perform and maybe do okay. Um, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out. You're the kind of fighter, Billy Joe, that from from watching you over the years, when there's a big fight, you get up for it. Whether it's Chris Eubank, what's that? I'll get the on when there's a big fight. Uh, yeah, you, you're you're pretty motivated. I mean, I I was at the I was I mean the David Lemieux fight in North America here. That was you know kind of a coming out party for a lot of people who in the David, U.S. Be honest though, let's be honest. Who is David Lemieux? Who is he? I mean, he's pretty well known here. He's a bum. <laughs> Did win a title. He won a title, but lost it. Got beat straight away. Useless. So I, I, I will really say I, I will say this about Lemieux though, like he was one of the only guys getting in with Golovkin back then. Yeah, he got in there for a few good, got a post in and got out. Jack, we call him a skidder. <laughs> he, he did get beat up pretty good, but I give him credit though. Not every, nobody was getting in with the guy. It was 2015. Nobody was touching Golovkin. No one was getting in, he got in with him, but it's no good getting in as uh, just getting in as uh, you've got to get in to, you know to do something. Mm. So maybe maybe repeat, maybe not. But is, I guess the, the greater question is, is there like a shift in you when a big fight is coming up versus one that maybe you're not as excited about? If I was in shape, I'd be very excited. But at the minute, it's, you know, training, being away. The minute I'm in India at the minute, um, out there, just, uh, you know, getting ready for camp or so. I'm going to fly back and do a bit of training. So at the minute, you know, I will, once the venue gets announced, I'll probably be a bit more excited. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to ask you about two things that two fighters have said about this fight. Tyson Fury, your friend, uh, he had suggested a couple of times that maybe you need another fight or two before you'd be ready for this fight. What did you think about that? Well, that's his opinion. He says that, that's his opinion. But, you know, we've both got our own boxing brains. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So if he thinks that, that's his faults. But my faults are different. Did you feel... Sharp coming off the Martin Murray fight? We we'll see my eighth. Don't know. We we'll see on my eighth. Could do. All depends on what side of bed I wake up, isn't it? If I wake up outside of bed on the right side, Canelo could be in serious trouble. If I wake up on the wrong side, three rounds is over, isn't it? Callum Smith, uh, who lost to Canelo back in December, suggested that, you know, while he, he complimented your skills, he said you may not have the power to get Canelo's attention. What did you think of that? Is that what you need, power? I have no idea. He's got power. Did it, did it make any difference? Power. Kovalev, power make any difference? Nope. Light heavyweight? No. Power don't win it. Mm. What do you think does mm. win it? Big pair of balls. Wins it. Big, airy, sweaty pair of big balls. And that's I mean, Golov- I Golovkin had them. Through. Golovkin had them, but he, he didn't win. Yeah, but he's like a robot in front of someone, and he's standing, I'll hit you, you hit me, let's try for try, bomb, 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 like a ping ball going across the table. Mm. You know? Golovkin, I like him, funny enough. He's uh, he, he's a good, good man. He's good for the sport, but, you know, he, what, what was he when he boxed him? 35, 36? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. He was up there. He, I mean, it was a good fight, the second one, very close. How many rounds do you reckon I'm going to get knocked out in the Master New? Oh, I don't think you get knocked out. No? No. I'm, 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 you're on my side, yeah? I think, it's a, I, I, I think it's a very good fight. I don't believe he knocks you out because I think you're too skilled. I think you'll – I mean, the question is like – and look, you've, you've seen his fights. We kind of – I mean, I, I think he's a very tough guy to win decisions against because – and I've scored a lot of his. I've scored a lot of his fights, Billy Joe. Are you are you saying that the they might rob me? No, 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 not at all. Because I don't think that Daniel Jacobs was robbed. I don't think that Kovalev do reckon, was. Do, do, do you reckon Golovkin was robbed the first time? Yes, he was. Golovkin was robbed the first time. Do you reckon Mayweather was robbed of a unanimous decision? Mayweather was robbed of a unanimous decision. That one fourteen, one fourteen was a joke. Okay. Who, who scored that? Uh, I don't know who scored the Mayweather one. Adelaide Bird and scored the, Yeah, the Golovkin one. Yeah, that was disgraceful. And who, who scored the uh, who scored the Mayweather one? 
I don't know who scored that. It was actually a judge that got tossed out, I think, afterwards. Was it CJ Ross? Did I get maybe? It was such a, it was a bad card. So there's people there have been people previously been robbed against Canelo, you're saying. Uh Golovkin's the only one. Mayweather's only robbed of a decision. Like he he still won the fight. He still won the fight, but you know, it wasn't the right scorecard, was it? Let's be fair. So no. if they tried to rob Mayweather, if one judge went against Mayweather, so I've got to be careful they don't do it against me. Is that mm. you saying I've got to be no, I, I, what I was saying, it's all about the question, do you think I'm going to get knocked out, right? Like, I don't think I'm going to get knocked out. I think Canelo has become a really easy guy to score punches for because they're they're very clean. I've scored a lot of his fights in the last couple of years, and he, he hits clean. He hits very clean. Very clean, hard, accurate, precise. He's, he's got it all. I will give him his due. He's got it all. I just want to thank the team for the opportunity because I'm amazed by this opportunity. I'm overwhelmed. And uh, to be honest with you, I just hope I don't get starstruck when I see him because <laughs> you freeze. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think you're going to freeze, Billy Joe. Well, we'll see, my uh, I've got the flu at the minute, by the way, so I don't want to get too close to the camera in case you catch it. <laughs> Do you think but, you're going to freeze? <sighs> it all depends, doesn't it? When I see him, listen, if you look at someone as an idol, when you see him face to face, it's a different story. You know, you don't, you don't really look at Canelo as that. You're the same age as Canelo. Yeah, but look, look at the man. Do you know what I'm saying? Look at him. Just look what sort of machine he is. Look at the, look at the physique of him. <laughs> this is like reverse Billy Joe trash talk right now. It's it's kill him with kindness. No, it's not. This is just I'm just talking the truth. It's just it's starting the obvious, isn't it? So you don't plan oh, on doing any? How have any... you been anyway? How, how have you been? I'm doing great, man. We get boxing back. You can have some fans in the crowd for your fight. I'm good. Where do you think? Where do you think it's going to be? Texas or Vegas? Yeah, Vegas. Fake it, you make it. Uh, yeah, but Texas is letting everybody in now. So how many? 80, how many? Can we, how many in Texas can we get? You guys could probably do fifty, sixty thousand. A lot of that. A lot of that. Hostile crowd oh. though. A lot of Mexican fans in Vegas, in Texas. There'd be a lot of gypsies as well. Yeah, be your fans going to travel? My fans will be traveling. English, Irish, Scotch, Welsh, American, every single nationality you can think of will be there. Mm-hmm. So no, no pre-fight? There. What? <laughs> go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go on, Karen. You carry on. I want to hear I'm that just, question. I, I, no, I was just, is this going to be the kind of talking philosophy before? Is it just going to be reverential to Canelo rather than, you know, some of the usual stuff we've heard from you? Oh, I think that Canelo is obviously he's, he's one of the greats, isn't he? He's been mm-hmm. in with everybody. He's heard it all before. So I can only talk the truth about him. You know what I'm saying? He's a good fighter. He's a brilliant fighter. Um, you know, he's, he obviously, at the minute, he's the face of boxing. He did. He heard some nasty stuff from Golovkin before that fight. What did Golovkin say? Uh, the whole positive drug test went after him for that. Positive drug test. Did he first he did kind of drug test, didn't he? Yeah. What, yeah. What, what was he taking on that drug test again? That was uh clenbuterol, which was the no, tainted meat stuff he, in Mexico. No, 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 he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't taking drugs and it was meat he was eating. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was it was for yeah. that substance. Billy Joe, I'm I, I know you're sick, man. I appreciate taking some time to talk and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the US uh first week in May. I'm gonna go to sleep for ten days now and wake up be fresh for ten days time. You got it, man. Thanks. Chill out, brother.